Now we are going to talk about the time frames on the chart. As active traders, we are always looking at charts because charts provide the historical price action and they allow us to watch price action as it unfolds and creates a chart pack. Using a suitable time frame is an essential part of trading, yet there is no single answer for everyone. That's because usually a trader uses several time frames depending on their trading style. Swing traders will check the charts a couple of times per day in case any big moves occur in the marketplace. This affords traders the benefit of not having to watch markets continuously while they're trading. Once an opportunity is identified, traders place the trade with a stop attached and monitor at a later stage to see the progress of the trade. Day trading can be one of the most difficult strategies of finding profitability. Newer traders implementing a day trading strategy are exposing themselves to more frequent trading decisions that may not have been practiced for very long. A long-term trader could use the monthly chart to find the major trends and use the weekly and daily chart for a potential entry position. Many new traders tend to avoid this approach because it means long periods of time before trades are realized. Traders should keep in mind two things. First, the smaller the time frame, the more the chart is polluted with noise and we have insignificant ups and downs. Second, it's common for currency pairs to be in an uptrend in one time frame and a downtrend in another time frame. Many traders new to Forex will often wonder if there is a time frame that is better to trade than another. Fundamentally, choosing the best time frame to trade Forex will depend greatly on a trader's preferred trading style and strategies used.